Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 5559 model. So it's a 5000 series model. This one's been discontinued on 2017 but there is still, there's still lots of them out there. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM on this one. If you have a 2 gig or 4 gig, if you want to upgrade it up, this video is for you. All right, guys. So first thing first, we want to power off completely. Make sure it's uh, turned off. Don't suspend it. Do not put anything else like the Hibernate. Just power it off completely. And you want to uh, flip it upside down. And in here, this one doesn't have the battery. To remove the battery, you just have to pull this trigger to one side and then lift up the battery. So remove the battery if you want to. And it's not necessary to remove it, but if you want to be cautious, just go ahead and pull the trigger and remove the battery. If you don't, that's nothing's going to happen. All right. Second thing is the tools that you're going to need. You will need a screwdriver set. I use this iFixit tool set as they have one of the best bits out there. And I've been through many of the screwdriver sets and these ones are, they are really last me a long time. Because they have an S2 class of steels, and that's what I love about this screwdriver. All right, we're gonna use a Phillips number zero from this tool set. And what we wanna do on the bottom cover here, there's something called a service cover, which is this cover right here on the front end of the laptop. It's being held down by one, two, by two screws, one on each side. We're gonna remove these two screws. These screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Okay. Next, you want to put your finger right underneath here to pull it up, but be careful because it's really hard. You can damage your fingernail. So what I do, I'll just grab a flat screwdriver, put it right there, and then just pull it upward. You have to uh, loosen up these clips. So once you pick it, lift it up, put it to one side. And next, you're going to see the RAM right in front of you. There are two RAM DIMM available on this laptop. One is right here, one is right there. They have a DDR3 RAM, so in order to remove the RAM, in order to remove the RAM, all you have to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other, apart from each other. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. So and you want to pull it out in the same in direction that it came out. So in 45 degree angle, just pull it backward up outside if you try to pull it towards higher end to pull it up you're going to break the contact or you're going to damage the ram so pull it backward in 45 degree angle so this is a 4 gig ram if you remove the trigger on this one and pull this one out this one is a 4 gig too so you can actually get an 8 gig and an 8 gig ram so you have a uh, total of 16 gig ram but if you have 4 gig, you can add an additional 4 gig to, uh, to the RAM. To place the RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM, which is right in here, the cut in, on, the RAM dim, on the RAM matches the cut right on the uh, slot right there. So it has to match right there. If you try to put it that way around, it will not go through. So, and you want to place it in, in 45 degree angle. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard. Same thing here. 45 degree angle and towards the motherboard and you're going to hear these two uh, clicks triggers clicking in once everything is in place nicely it should be very smooth and then you are all set and the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover you want to grab the bottom cover and you want to place the back end where the rubber legs is right here you want to stick that one right in there first in 45 degree angle and then bring it down Press this, I'm holding it from the middle, so I can give this kind of curvature to the sides, so I don't have to push really hard. So I just hold it up and then push this side down, it goes in really smooth. I can hold it here and push this side down, make sure it goes down really smooth, and then just press on the cover. And it's going to do some clicking and it should be down there. Now, I really, a tip for you guys. If you guys upgrade the RAM and you turn on the laptop and it's not giving, it turns on but it's not showing anything on a screen, don't panic. All you have to do is remove the cover, 
sw swipe the place for the ramps, that's number one. If the swiping didn't work, just remove both of the ramps, only put one in, power on. Once you see the, uh, their logo, power it off, place the other one, and power it on again, and wait 5 to 10 seconds. Sometimes with these models, the bias will take up to 5 to 10 seconds to recognize both ramps and adjust the speeds and all that. So be patient, just give it a 5 to 10 seconds. And this is that's it for this video. And if you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area. And I'll gladly try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video.